Hello, welcome to this next uh, Marvelous Design Substance tutorial. In this tutorial, we're going to look at baking stitches in, Mar in um, Substance Painter. So we have this lovely top stitch uh, option within uh, Substance, but it massively bloats your mesh. You know, there's so much geometry in each stitch that it, it's just huge. I mean, it looks terrific, but, you know, to use it externally in a game or, you know, in some other application, uh, you're going to need to reduce that, um, you know, that heaviness. And we could do that by uh, baking. Uh, so let's have a look. So I've got a little vest I've set up here. I've put some stitches around the edges and I've just got three kind of rectangles of stitches in here of different thicknesses um, just to uh, demonstrate um, you know, where you might want to, you know, make your stitches a bit over exaggerated. Okay, so I've got my uh, pieces in the UV map. I'm only going to export those two pieces. So I'm going to select those there. And then we'll file, uh, export, and OBJ selected. And I've got a file here where I'm going to just overwrite the ones I've done in practice. So uh, I've got my vest, which is the vest without any stitches. So single object, weld, thin, unified UVs, and OK. And then we we'll do exactly the same, except when we do the export, do it to a new file name. And then we need to select all graphics and trims. So um, stitches are considered uh, trims, so it's going to export them. And when we export, we should see that yeah, the mesh is much, much heavier. Okay, so let's switch over to Substance. And here's one I attempted earlier <laughs> and then failed. So let's just create a new setup. Uh, so select and the low uh, poly one, the one without the stitches. And then uh, I'll put a 4096 texture. Because some of these stitches are very small, uh, I'm going to need lots of UV space to be able to pick them up. If my uh, texture map is too small, it's not going to work very well. Okay, so that DirectX, uh, I'm not using the tile workflow, but I'll click OK and discard my original project. Okay, so we've got our base shirt in, or vest. And now, uh, up here we have new in 8.3. We have this little croissant um, icon uh, to represent baking. <laughs> it's very amusing. And when we click on that, we go into this little bake room. So, what we can see here is our low poly mesh and this um, beige color is our kind of beige, uh, is our surface. And what we need to do now is add our high def mesh from here. So if I click there, I'm going to select the one with stitches. And what happens now is we get this kind of preview of um, the baking options. So when it bakes from one mesh to another, um, we set the max and min, um, sorry, <laughs> the max front and the max rear projection distance. You know, if we had any issues here, we would see lots of red where there is blue. Ignore this red underneath the brown um, shell. Uh, that's okay. It's the... Uh, in the blue area, we need to make sure. And just to demonstrate, I'm going to put this max frontal distance down to zero. So if it's zero, yeah, the meshes exactly match up. So there's lots of poking through going on. And we want no red uh, at all. So if you see some red and, be, you know, look at where your stitches are, because, you know, that's where it's most likely to be. Uh, you may need to update your max frontal distance. So let's put it back to 0 0.01, and that looks good. 
Okay, so once you've had a look around, make sure there's no red where there shouldn't be any. Uh, we are ready to bake. So set your size. I'm going to bake to 4096. Again, to give myself plenty of resolution for these small details. And then we can bake. And away it goes. So once it's done, um, I'll stop this part of the video and then we'll go back. Uh, when I come back, we'll have a look at the maps it's created and, you know, work on those. So I will talk to you then. Okay, so now we've baked, uh, we can go back to the painting room. So if we uh, return to painting mode, we'll see what we've got. And as you can see, very nice and clear on our uh, front piece, we've got some lovely, lovely stitches. And if I can, or if my fingers could remember where I am, <laughs> which apparently they can't, uh, there we go. I've been in too many applications. So where we've got our stitches around the edges, they're a little bit, yeah, a little bit undefined. Whereas down here, um, these are a kind of a default stitch. These are a little thicker and these are thicker again. Um, we get different results. So at a 4096 map, you know, the default is not necessarily going to be picked up very well. Uh, so you, you know, I would encourage you to exaggerate your stitches a bit to get a nicer view out. So let's have a look at the maps we have to work with. So we have the normal map, which very nicely shows our stitches there. If I zoom in over here, we can see them, but they're, you know, not as nicely defined as our bigger stitches. You know, there is the caveat that you could go up you know, even further in your texture um, resolution. Um, and we were working at 4096, but you could go to an 8K map. But, you know, we're trying to reduce, you know, our memory overhead. So, you know, the higher you go, I think uh, probably the less of a, a benefit you get. Uh, so what else have we got? So the other map, which is extremely useful, is the thickness map. Because, you know, there is very little thickness in terms of this whole uh, garment. Uh, it's picking up some around these folds, but it is absolutely picking it up on the stitches. And we can use that uh, to colour our stitches. So let's have a quick go. Let's just put something silly on here. Uh, la, la, la. Let's have a plastic map pure. And switch this back over to our material. Okay, so I'll duplicate this. Where is duplicate? It's up here. And we'll add a black mask. Let's just darken this a little. There we go. Okay, so to add this in, if we add a generator and then pick the mask editor, Come on, wake up, uh, turn off the curvature and then come down to thickness and we'll turn that right up. You'll see that it's kind of inverted. So what we need to do is just go into thickness and turn, invert, uh, <laughs> turn invert on. And now our stitches are, you know, uh, colored differently. You know, I'm just using two very simple, you know, materials here. You can build up a whole, you know, a whole stack of layers uh, for your texture. Uh, but I thought that, you know, it would be nice to see just you know, how you do that. Okay, so let's have a look at our size stitches. And, you know, they're okay. There, there's nothing particularly wrong with them. Um, they will show up. Uh, but again, they're not showing up quite as nicely. As these exaggerated ones so you know you don't have to go too mad you know <laughs> you don't have to make it really cartoony um, but sometimes in 3d you have to over exaggerate to emphasize very small details 
So I hope you found that useful, um, and I will talk to you again soon.